What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about Cydia. And yes, I have great news for those of you who are using Cydia right now and are planning to use Cydia even in the future when Cilio will replace it. So for those of you who remember, yesterday I made a video in which I talked about a new chill break that will pretty much compete for the iOS 11.4 beta tree all the way down to iOS 11.2 space with the Electrum. So this one is going to be called Uncover and it's made by pound to owned a former Electra jailbreak team member. Now if you didn't see the video check it out in here but for those of you who remember I said in this video that Cydia will be a part of that jailbreak while Electra is more focusing now on Cilio and they are pretty much planning to phase out Cydia in the future. Now pound to owned the developer of this upcoming jailbreak posted this a couple hours ago quote who said Cydia was dead got Cydia running on my device with an updated version of lib app. He also followed it up with this quote this basically means that Cydia will be soon as stable as any other package manager. So what he means in here is that his jailbreak will contain a Cydia version that will pretty much be up to the standard. Well, it may not be blazing fast like Cilio, because Cilio is built on top of, you know, 2018 technology and it's pretty much made to work perfectly fine with the Electra, while Cydia has been a drama-free package manager that worked for 10 years and counting. So yes, it may not be blazing fast but it will be stable and usable on iOS 11.x and what Pound owned is pretty much saying here is that he got Cydia a little bit more future-proofed at this point. So for those of you who do not know Cydia is actually open source so we do not have to pretty much ditch out Cydia just to get Cilia. Cydia can be maintained if somebody wants to do that and we don't necessarily need Soric for that. Yes I know Soric will not come out of the blue and updated at this point and for those of you who do not know Cydia hasn't been updated officially since 2017. So it's pretty much bad at this point. Soric pretty much left. We do not have any news from him of Cydia or the Cydia substrate so we're pretty much waiting now for developers who are building the jailbreaks to also update update Cydia to work properly. But for those of you who do not know, Soric's source code in here is not the only one available. There is also the Limitless project in here, which is pretty much a complete Cydia fork that is completely independent of Soric's web page in here and of Soric's code. It's pretty much made to test new technologies and to test new contributions and to pretty much allow everybody to, you know, attempt to import other features from 2018 into Cydia without having to deal with iOS 2.0 and something like that which is pretty much a requirement for Soric Cydia, which has to maintain a layer of compatibility. So Cydia is indeed open source and everybody can update it and everybody can maintain it if they really want to do that. But yes, Cydia does indeed depend a little bit on Soric's servers and that is a problem because as you probably remember, Soric didn't enable the purchases on iOS 11.x. So the last Cydia version to actually work with purchases for tweaks was on iOS 10. Now there are fixes for that and these fixes are pretty much changing the iOS version that Cydia gets to see so that Cydia believes it's running on iOS 10 or something and it would enable you the purchases. Yes it's a nasty fix and yes it's just temporary as we would need a better fix for that but yes we can get purchases to actually work even without Soric. So my point in here is that one can update Cydia and make it future proof and make it work on future jailbreaks like iOS 11.4, iOS 11.4.1 and possibly even iOS 12 without problems. Now at the beginning of July everybody thought Cilio will finally replace Cydia for good but now that we're talking about Panta owned and his project it looks like Cydia got a second chance with the uncovered jailbreak which is pretty much going to work perfectly fine like the Electra on the the same iOS range but it will not have the problems Electra has with freezes and reboots and apparently will ship with a version of Cydia that actually works. So yeah, this is pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the news, I'm really happy that Cydia got a second chance because you know it's a 10 years old software that worked drama free and served the jailbreak community for 10 years and it would be a shame to pretty much ditch it right now considering that it's open source and can be worked on. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'm Gio Snow. Peace out.